Hi, I want to show you how to transcribe speech into text using OpenAI's Whisper model that is super simple to use. So I just recorded myself um, with this sentence. I am one of the strongest men on the planet. And what I want to be able to do is transcribe that into text and even into another language. So let's dive into the OpenAI Whisper model. So I'm just going to, I'm in GitHub and this is where the model is. This gives you all the information about that model. We're going to jump into a, a collab notebook. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this because this is going to allow me to actually install that directly into that collab notebook. So I have a collab notebook here that I'm going to open up for us to use. And the first thing we want to do is install that um, pip installation of the OpenAI Whisper. And I'm just going to put an exclamation mark. I don't think you need that for Colab, but let's do it anyway. And let's run that. We'll let that run and install. As you can see, everything has been installed. We're using OpenAI Hugging Face. Uh, so I'm going to make an extra cell here while this loads up. And with Escape and B. And now let's import that Whisper model. So the first thing we want to do is import Whisper. And then while we're there, let's create a model. So we can say model whisper and then you can always hit tab to see what are the methods of functions there and i'm going to use the load model here and the argument you need to pass it in terms of the parameters here as you can see is going to be um base so let's put the base model in there so we can pass that parameter and we're going to run this And you can see that model has been loaded and we're good to go. So the next thing I need to do is this is collapse. So I want to bring in that file that we played earlier. So I'm going to say from Google collab import files. And then I'm going to use for my upload. I'm going to use the files dot upload. And this will allow me to bring in that file that I'm looking for. So then this gives me the option to choose a file. I'm going to go to the recording, bring that in, and you can see it's an M4A file, which, you know, MP3 is good also. So now let's create a output, which is very easy. So we're going to go to output for our variable, and then we're going to use that model, and then we're going to use... We can hit tab to see what's there. And what we want to use is transcribe. So if we go down, you can see transcribe is there. I bring in that function. And what do we want to transcribe? Well, now that we have that file there, we can, we can go over here. And you can see the file is there. I'm going to copy the path. And I'm going to drop that into transcribe. And we need to put that in quotations and now that's going to be our output so I'm going to run that and you can see the model is taking care of that now all we need to do is use that particular variable that we use and run it and we should be able to see what the output is and there it is i am one of the strongest men on the planet so our voice to text worked out pretty well and you can see there's a bit more information there that we can evaluate just for your information there are other models other than the base model so if i bring this over you can see 
we use that base model and however we can use other models here that have their benefits so I would highly encourage you to you know read the information here and see if it's something that you may find interesting now what we can do is translate this into another language so let's do that with our output so all we need to do to transcribe this and let me just get this out of the way so we have a little bit more room um, is all I need to do is go back up to our model the language that we want to use so let's change our language from English and I'm I don't know the language um, abbreviations but I believe this is Spanish so let's just run that so now we're gonna run that model again and then we'll run the output also and now you can see we have our different language there we can also change that to another language so maybe let's change that to french maybe fr so i'm going to run both of these and see if we get french and there we go so let me know if you want to dive into this a little bit deeper and use a bigger text document but i just wanted to show you some quick and easy ways to be able to transcribe your voice information over the text please like and subscribe and leave any comments below but super easy right thanks